Hey guys, it's 2017, June 22nd, for another Steam Cell video here. Join me for the next 10 minutes or so as I talk about the latest games that are on sale and what you should, maybe, shouldn't buy. Because guys, you save more by money by buying. Also, if you always sleep on your decisions, because it's sale. Was that a little cheesy? It was probably a little cheesy. Hi guys, how you guys doing? Welcome. Um, so sales, tyranny. This game is very interesting. I got this game on GOG, and I don't know. Like, I don't. I am not liking the Obsidian Entertain the Obsidian's like RPG that they're going for lately, especially with Pillars of Eternity, Tyranny, and a couple other ones. I don't think they're. I, I just it doesn't look that interesting. It doesn't look as vibrant as what uh, other people are doing. I thought what they did with um, Dragon Age or not Dragon Age, but um, Divinity Original Sin is so much go better. Um, it's such a gorgeous looking game. It's very vibrant, and very like environmental. So like stuff blows up in the game and it affects the outcome of the scenario. Um, if you're looking for an open world game, check out Mafia. This is a open world game set in New Orleans during the height of the civil rights movement, and you play as a black character, so it should be fun. I heard the story is interesting, but the gameplay is not interesting. But hey, for 15 bucks, if you're looking for an open world game, hey, check it out. Grim Dawn is a action RPG, much like Diablo. Um, I think this is from the people that made um, Titan Quest, but it's supposed to be a pretty good game. Um, football Manager is Football Manager. I have no idea why this is so popular, but hey, people love that. Um, what the hell is this? Eh, it's Naruto. If you like, if you if you would like Naruto, you probably already bought it. Abazu, I love this game very much, and at six bucks, you can't. Oh, also, Steam's acting up a little bit. You can't you can't miss anything for six bucks. Um, yeah, Steam is like really bogged down lately. Um, because I'm recording this at 11.50. Uh, but the thing is, is it's kind of a walking simulator-esque game. You're going through, uh, like, underground. It's pretty water, it's pretty focused, and you're doing, like, little puzzles, like, very extremely light puzzles. The soundtrack is amazing. The visuals are amazing. This is an amazing game. Um, if the soundtrack is on Spotify, I definitely welcome you to check that out if you're not interested in the game. It's a gorgeous, relaxing, um, uh, you know, subject. Call of Duty. That's all you need to know about Call of Duty. Call of Duty, I think, um, is okay. It's it's the PC. It's it's kind of dead just due to the hacking and all that stuff. I guess the latest Call of Duty, Black Ops Three, uh, Zombie Trilogy, uh, is supposed to be pretty good. So I don't know. Super hot. This game is super super hot. Um, sadly, it's about two hours long. What you are is a, uh, this was originally a VR concept, but they made it into first a actual game. You, bullets move only when you move. And so you're, you're trying to do that. It's, it's pretty crazy. I have this game. I might want to stream this because it is only two hours. Depth, I have no idea what this is, but it's a multiplayer uh, indie game. So again, it might be really good, but it, it relies so much on, uh, you know, Hey, there, there's, you know, you need to be people. You need people to play. And, you know, it's a multiplayer game, so there's probably not many people here. You could always check out the... Yeah, there's 332 people playing this, so... Hey, it does say single player. I don't know, but again, any indie multiplayer game, I take it with a grain of salt. Shadow of Mortar. An amazing, amazing open world game set in the Lord of the Rings universe. Um, it actually has a unique thing that hasn't been replicated. It's called a nemesis system. So you can kill certain, like, mini-bosses or, like, chiefs or something. And, or or you you fail to kill them, and so they get stronger and all that stuff. And there's a whole hierarchy in the system. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and any of these Tall Tale games in the games, I strongly do not recommend. There's, like, Batman, Lord of, there's Batman, a Game of Thrones, Walking Dead. They are all pretty decent games, but again... It's a swing, swing or the miss if you're going to have a bad experience or a good experience. Uh, they sometimes, it takes about, they do these episodic things, usually four to five, where the game, they, they take about a month and a half at most to get out the new episode. So usually you want to buy these things when the series is done. 
so yeah, it's it's a swing and a miss. These are very story driven games with a lot of quick time events. Um, Aragami, I heard this is really good. A friend of the site, Arcavius, is doing a recording with this. He hear that's really good. Check it out in his site. Um, Final Fantasy, I I I don't know. Final Fantasy. Um, I would not recommend Final Fantasy 13. I had friends that love this, and they don't know why. And when I bash on it, they just said, why are you bashing on this? This game is really dumb. Um, Final Fantasy 13 is a really weird game because it, it like, puts it into a... Um, it's really weird. It's hard to explain. But the Final Fantasies you want to worry about is the, you know, the classic ones, uh, 4 and 5 which we have here, which are like, the, I think these are the mobile ports, uh, which you can buy on mobile too. And then with the P PlayStation 1 games, 7, or, uh, seven 8, and 9, uh, which are all amazing games too. I think 7 is a little bit overrated. They're making a remake of this game. I don't know. Uh, it's coming out to PS4 only. And then, of course, 10 2, uh, and then um, 11. Oh wow! And then there's also still still going strong Final Fantasy XIV DLC that just came out earlier today or earlier this week. So it's the uh, you know whatever. Hollow Knight is a pretty cool uh, platformer. That's all I know. Ghost Recon. What? Wait. There's a whole Ghost Recon. I Wildlands. I don't think was that great. Um, I played it with Lance, and it just felt like, you know, there's just so much shit to do. I'd rather be playing Far Cry, but yeah, there's a bunch of Ghost Recon on, on, um, Ghost Recon and Future Shoulder, I, I wouldn't play this. This is a consoleized version, so the game, like, runs like shit. Um, it, it, like, locks to 30 FPS in a lot of places, but it's a really interesting story. Um, and then here's some of the older classic ones. I don't know if these hold up. These games are, like, from the 90s. Um, so some of these are pretty old. Um, if you want to learn Chinese, make sure to check out Romancing, Romancing of the Storm, uh, of the Three Kingdoms 13. So it's a, you know, that. Here's another Paradox, or another, uh, uh, Obsidian game. I, 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 it's one of those RPGs I just don't really, god damn, yeah, Steam is, I think it's, I think it's Obsidian. I'm pretty sure it's Obsidian, but, you know, I'm not a big fan of those Obsidians. Torchlight 2, I would not recommend this. I mean, it is a really decent good game, but it it's a kind of a data game. came out in 2012, and they really haven't done much with it. Um, you know, games like Path of Exile have really, and, and Diablo have really changed the game. This is, you know, for five bucks, it actually supports up to eight people in their game, and there's a modding, modding support, but it's just like, it felt kind of dull. Uh, Job Simulator is the go-to game if you have VR, but you probably already own this game if you have VR. Allison 6 is a interesting, like, a kind of XCOM, FTL kind of clone game where you're a ship and you're trying to su uh, survive the end of the universe, I think. I don't know. I heard this is a pretty good game. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> Golf It. Another Golf It and Golf With Your Friends I do recommend. I haven't played this, but this actually looks pretty cool. Golf With Your Friends is really cool. Uh, I just wish that somebody the like the courses were a little bit better the only good courses i like is the haunted the halloween one which is actually kind of cool um steam world heist is actually kind of a 2d xcom game um i do recommend this i mean five bucks not bad as to the singularity i haven't played this but i do have this this is a cpu melter so this is an rts if you ever heard of those because those are dead um by starduct who, are, who make RTSs, and so it's 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 a CPU GPU melter. There's so much units on the ground. There's so many, and it's a very I don't know. I've seen the re positive review of this game go up and down. Um, South Park Stick of Truth, like pretty decent story driven. Not much. It's pretty. It's really linear. So I mean, for for 750, if you're a Star uh, a South Park fan and RPG fan, I do recommend this. Trans uh, Transistor. I love this game and all these guys from uh, Super Giant Games, um, really good games like Bastion, and, and they're making out something else too. It's gonna be pretty cool. Kind of an RPG linear game. Uh, you change, you add different hacks to your weapon, changes the principles of the guns. Pretty cool. And of course, let's look at the top games for, uh, for overall. We got Player on No Battleground sitting top with it's not even on sale. It's like screw it, guys. This game is so badass. This is the game. Um, I would say 
play with some friends. The game, the one problem I have with this game, I think is a huge problem, is that the game, um, let's say, is easier when you're with two people. Because it's impossible to die from a headshot. So what they do in single in, in solo queue, you can die from a headshot instantly, and you're out. But in if you have squad or even up to four people, you if you die, you're downed, but you could still be revived. It's it's kind of stupid. I think it's really dumb. Um, I mean, it's it's just kind of dumb when you're popping in shots at the people and they don't die. Black Desert, on Desert Online. I have no idea what this is. I still I've played like ten hours into this game. It's an amazing game. Grand Theft Auto Five. I still think this is, you know, it's getting a lot of negative reviews, but this is still an amazing game. The single player alone is amazing. Darkest Dungeon is a two D combat uh, game that hey, I read a review. Hey, this game can, uh, let's say, you can have a good run and then still die. It, there's a lot of randomness to this game. Rocket League, you should already have this game. Arma 3 is not a video game, but a, but a, like, they promote a lot of this realism stuff, but, like, half of it, I think half the maps are, like, Altus Life, or some sort of Altus Life, or, or a Battle Royale, and then, like, a small set are, like, some actual scenarios. I don't even think, um, a Bohemian Interactive knows what this game is. Uh, here we have Galactic Civilization 3, I I have no idea why this is, like, so popular. Um, Nier Automata. Oh, shit. Yeah, this game is really good. But you do need a kind of a beefy computer. It doesn't look that good, which is really weird. But this is, like, it has different endings. Um, but, yeah, I do recommend this. Very uh, Platinum. If you ever heard of Platinum Video Developer, if you like their stuff, Bayonetta, this is a very, very spiritual successor. Expect more of this. Um... This War of Mine is actually a very creepy strategy 2D game. Um, they've actually this this game's like really creepy. I heard I haven't played it, but I'm just too scary. Payday, I hate Payday. I think Payday is stupid. Um, but yeah, that's it for me, guys. Stardew Valley is a pretty good Harvest Moon throwback. Uh, Subnautica, amazing, amazing uh, early access support along with a open oh underwater open world uh, game. Rust. If you hate Rust, you have no idea what Rust is. This game is amazing. It's a survival game set in a PvP world. So, hey, have fun. So, always, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to uh, comment down. Comment and say what you think and what I think. It's like, hey, yo, uh, you know, Torchlight is actually kind of shitty. Or, like, uh, Final Fantasy XIII is great. Go F yourself. Uh, but keep it clean. Keep it clean. I, if you have any suggestions or all that, I have... Um, I have tons of footage of games. You can always check it out on my YouTube channel and all that stuff. I have footage on, um, let's see. Actually, I was going to do stuff on, uh, I do have an Abzu playthrough if you just want to watch that. I have, I was going to put footage of Tyranny, but it was too boring. Uh, I've done Ghost Recon. Uh, let's see. Actually, some of these I haven't done. Actually, like a lot, uh, SteamWorld Dig, I have footage. Transistor, I have a playthrough. Um, Black Desert, I have a stream. I have tons of footage on Grand Theft Auto. I have a stream of Nier Automato. Uh, I, I think I have stuff on Armor 3. I don't remember. I have stuff on Rocket League later on today. Hitman uh, stream. It should be fun. Um, bunch of Stardew Valley, Subnautica, uh, Rust. I have footage of Rust and all that stuff. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you wanted to help me out, check out my Patreon. Link in the description, too. People like Kevin, Chow Chow, Amber, Erica, uh, Saber, and Cullen the Marine have helped me out so much with this. They allow me to, hey, hey, new game's coming out. I want to do some footage on this um, because YouTube lately has been a little bit dumb. But as always, guys, see you guys later. Bye.